Carolina Skog is Minister of the Environment for the Government of Sweden. Sweden places gender equality central to the government's priorities and therefore to the process of development. And Honourable Skog will discuss the role of gender equality in sustainable development. Thank you. Thank you. Friends of the oceans, healers of the oceans, Today, Sweden and Fiji, as co-president, officially opened the Oceans Conference. The Asia-Pacific region and the Baltic Sea region, where I come from, are very different. But we share a strong commitment for saving the oceans and the seas. Before coming to this conference, Mrs. Levine, who is the co-president of the conference and my colleague in the Swedish government, told me about her visits to the Asia-Pacific region and about her strong admiration of women and men who takes lead in the ocean actions to achieve SED 14. I'm a proud minister in a feminist government. A feminist government means that gender equality is central to our priorities in decision-making and in resource allocation. A feminist government ensures that gender equality perspective is brought into all policy-making in a broad front, both nationally and internationally. Women and men must have the same power to shape society and their own lives. This is a human rights matter and a matter of democracy, justice and economic development. I want to address two issues on gender equality and ocean health that is close to my heart. First is how we build our common environment. Sustainable and equal city planning is necessity to reach goal 14 and to save our oceans to take good decisions for waste management on land will reduce marine litter. To take good decisions for chemical management in cities will reduce hazardous subsidies in the sea. Sustainable and equal city planning is on top of my political agenda. Women should have equal part in decision-making processes in small villages, in cities, and in megacities all around the world. This is important for the future of human environment on land as well as the future of our oceans. Secondly, Goal 14 on life below the water is closely interlinked with Goal 5 on gender equality and on Goal 4 on quality education. To empower women to be healers of the ocean, we need to secure equal education for girls and young women. One important part is equal education on knowledge about the sea, often called ocean literacy. And this is one of my personal priorities. I work locally to build an educational platform for children and youth. When, the city, when the, my government recently launched a budget to decrease marine pollution, education for children and youth was an important part. Friends of the Oceans, healers of the oceans, with this conference, the Swedish government, together with Fiji, wants to show that healthy oceans are basis for human livelihoods and survival. I come from the city of Malmö by the Baltic Sea. It once had a big fish market with fresh fish from the sea. Women from the region came into the city in rowing boats, sold their herring, and around this market, the city was built. Today, very few in this region have their, find their livelihoods in marine fisheries. People buy their fresh food from elsewhere. This is the everyday in the Baltic Sea re region. In other parts of the world, the situation is very different. Around 300 million people find their livelihoods on marine fisheries. 90% of those in small scales are artisanal fisheries. Allowing the ocean and its resources to deteriorate is equal to putting the lives and the well-being of millions of people at risk. For the conference, with this conference, the Swedish government makes a number of commitments 
to reduce marine litter, to combat climate change, and to strengthen the protection of the marine environment to increase and to increase ocean literacy. We have a long tradition and ongoing on uh, development cooperation, and gender has for a long time and is a key to this work. The most important work is after this conference, and I'm very, therefore very happy to announce that the Swedish government, the coming years, will increase focus to, uh, to the uh, focus to the development cooperation that implements Goal 14. I wish you all the luck to bo boost Asia-Pacific women's engagement in marine science and ocean management, and I look forward to hearing more about your further work. My sincere apologies that I need to leave this uh, seminar soon, but I wish you all the best on your very important work. Thank you.